like ten tin soldiers in a row Followed hand in hand Sister Anna carrying the banner from the Sally Annie band Singing songs of praise and glory We all learn to love their story Good things are coming to your glory Glory Everybody singing in the Sally Annie band Just a band of happy people Teaching, preaching, love is equal When you feel the spirit move your glory, glory Tell me if... What is this thing that we've got going on? Always nearly wonderful More or less complete but where there's fire, shouldn't there be heat? Could this be what they used to call romance? Dancing with you cheek to cheek, moonlight in your hair, but when we kiss, there is no one there Do I ask for more than you can give? Or am I too much to take? If love's a celebration Who forgot the candles on the cake? Is this what all the fuss is all about? Loving you behind a mask Always so polite Turning away When we say goodnight There's one thing I'm certain of
to that old time religion. Our local church is, is really in the news. The fuss Since the vicar in our town stuck his head out of the closet and said I'm gay. And you can call me Bruce. Always so polite. Although we're just a small Turn town in the way. Thanks to our Sundays come say along. good night. You have to love a priest who paints his toenails. There's Who's one thing like I'm certain on of. Our services on Sunday are yeah, a cellar. So in fact, we had to build yeah, some extra stands. In the love. Women's Institute comes to see what Bruce is wearing, and all the rest are young men holding hands. So Say goodbye yeah, to that old-time yeah. religion. The Reverend Bruce has goosed us up to date. We've got lines around the block and they're flocking to deposit credit cards in our collection plate. I take my sermon today from Judges 13. Samson was the strongest man in Egypt. He could break a man in two with his bare hands. In fact, there were men all over Egypt saying, has anyone seen my ass? Samson fell in love with a tramp called Delilah. One night while he was asleep, she cut off all his hair and sold him to the Philistines. This is the bit I hate. They tore out his eyes and made him entertain the crown with a popular song. I only have eyes for you. Praying to God for one last burst of strength, Samson pushed apart the temple pillars and brought it crashing down on the Philistines. And if that bitch Delilah hadn't been in there, she'd still be cutting hair today. to hear the church bells Sunday morning Everybody's really thrilled to bits For thanks to Bruce they sound a whole lot sweeter Ringing out those Judy Garland hits When Bruce stands in his spotlight on the altar He brings to mind some old time movie queen His sermons may be short but they're sort of big on drama He'll dish more dirt than Hallow magazine Say goodbye to that old-time religion You'd better book or you won't get a seat You'll see Bruce come down the aisle While the choir sings, hello Dolly Swear to God, it really is a treat Genesis 37. Jacob gave his son Joseph a coat of many colours. It was a beautiful coat, floor length, full sleeves, perfect fit around the tush. You could wear it anywhere. But Joseph's brothers were jealous and sold him as a slave. They killed a goat and stained the coat with its blood. Look, father, they said, a wild animal has eaten Joseph and used his coat as a napkin. The moral of this story, if you've got it, flaunt it but don't be surprised if you get somebody's goat. Our weddings nowadays are really something, but there is a truth we cannot hide. When Bruce turns up in one of his creations, he always looks much prettier than the bride. At Christmas, all the wise men were in high heels. The Virgin Mary was a guy called Ray. When Bruce appeared on cue, dressed as Herod in black leather, the mayor's wife just fainted clean away. Say goodbye to that old-time religion. It just won't sell if it ain't got a beat. And we celebrate the day Reverend Bruce and his gay power took our church and put it on its feet.
the Lord said unto Moses, Take the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt and brought them to the Red Sea. Moses said, Lord, Lord, how will we cross this mighty sea? And the Lord said, Schmuck, wait till the tide goes out. Moses led the children of Israel safely across the Red Sea. But the Egyptian army that was following was swallowed up in the tide. Which is why, if you ask an Egyptian today what he thinks of the Israelis, he'll say, Say goodbye to that old time religion. Since Bruce arrived, we tell it like it is. And we thank our lucky stars that a gay priest took our Sabbath, dressed it up, and put us in showbiz. Oh.